Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Jaden James in River. We decided to get out a little bit today and do some foraging for bay nuts. Fresh bay nuts off the tree. Went to, or I'm at one of my favorite bay trees in Marin County, up here in Northern California. Such an awesome tree. So many places to lay and rest your body on this tree. And uh, three years ago, I I collected quite a bit of bay nuts from this tree. Um, but it looks like this year it didn't fruit as much. There's a lot of blossoms that sprouted, but not as many bay nuts actually grew from them. So I'm trying to collect as many as I can get from it. Uh, they're, they're pretty high up. I think I need to come out here with a ladder or step ladder of some sort but yeah i just wanted to uh update everybody i'm gonna go do some more foraging at another location later this afternoon hopefully get a good amount um so when i collect them i like to keep them separated so that i know where each bayna is coming from it's just kind of fun to see the difference on the size and and sometimes the taste of where the baina is coming from even if it's located within the same region so i'm mostly just foraging in marin county because that's where i uh, know a lot of the bay trees are located and yeah it's just a really beautiful spot nobody's here just river and me um so i realized that i didn't talk about how to actually roast the bay nuts i did show them in my last video so quickly go through the process is collecting the bay nuts, peeling the skin off. Then you're going to let them dry. This can take anywhere from two weeks to four weeks, depending on the amount of sun exposure they're getting and uh, heat, natural heat and a dry in a dry area. So don't put them in the oven to dry. I haven't played around with a dehydrator that could possibly work. And then after they're dry, you will then store them in a mason jar and like i said i label it i put the year that i collected them which is great because right now i am still i still have some from 2015. i have two small mason jar bottles from 2015 that i have left to roast so um just you know for people who want to keep track of that and after <laughs> River's being really silly. Um, so when you're ready to roast them, you're going to put the oven on th 325. Put them on a sheet pan, any kind of pan really. And you don't want to fill it. You want to have space so they can move around. Pop them in the oven. After about 10 minutes, take it out. Kind of move the nuts around. You're going to see they're going to start getting darker. You're going to be able to smell them roasting. Uh, very similar to the smell that the leaves have so um, it can be a little strong for some people it can cause them headaches some people it cures them of headaches so everyone's different it doesn't bother me and so you're going to roast them about 10 15 minutes and it's just basically trial and error so take one of the nuts out let it dry crack it open and see what it looks like see what it tastes like that's the way you're going to learn best um and yeah, just go from there. So I hope that helped. Um, see, River's getting pretty tired. He was climbing the tree. So if you guys have any questions, just leave a message below or send me a message on Instagram. You can follow me at Jaden James. And I will try to remember to put a link to a great article on roasting bay nuts as well. I am currently coming up with some fun recipes to use for the bay nuts, some yummy treats that are paleo friendly and dairy free. So when I get those figured out, I will be posting that as well. But I hope everyone has a chance to get outside this weekend. I'm so grateful that I live in a place and I have the opportunity and the freedom to do something like this when kind of whenever I want to. So, um, I definitely don't take it for granted. I'm very grateful and I hope you can all find something that you are grateful for within your life today and every day. Blessings to you all and I will chat with you guys soon. Until next time, keep it wild. Peace.